in this video I will elaborate my working with the Suraktal Anemi and give short powerful and simple way to call him I used ways of summoning him verified by the Iron World Foundation and the Iron World Foundation has a full authority over those videos so if they dislike them they can simply remove them links to the Ion World Foundation are present in the description below if you wish to become one of their patrons or reach them out now what I can say is this I was advised to work with Asura Kalanemi strongly by my other guides and as a sign of grace to this mighty Asura divine force I will film this video detailing the vocation method for summoning him it is really simple at 2 a.m. in the night in almost complete darkness draw this yantra on the floor or the piece of paper with charcoal stick or pen drawing this yantra you see on the screen on the ground instead of paper will be much more potent however it is not possible for majority of us so use paper if you truly wish to connect with Ashura Kalanemi you can draw this yantra in ash of the cremated bodies or your own bloody fluids but for the purpose of practicality for this video we will talk about drawing the yantra on the piece of paper majority of us live in cities and we are not capable uh, practically of drawing the yantras in a way agoris and other tantric ionists do they live in a places which are much more accepting of Tantric Kapichara practices but we as members of the Ayan World Foundation who practice through the material they released majority of us live in different areas which are not as accepting towards Ayanist Tantric practices as India so we have to adapt so draw the yantra you see on the screen on the piece of paper at 2 a.m. in almost complete darkness and then repeat the name of mighty Asura Asura Kalanemi, Asura Kalanemi, Asura Kalanemi over and over again number of repetitions depend on the nature of your link with Kalanemi more intense link you have with Kalanemi the less time you will need to summon him. Ideally, you need from 500 to 1000 chantings to presence the energy of Kalanemi, or in some instances, you even need up to 5000 chantings of the name to presence Kalanemi. Regardless, in my experience, it is best to actually glow at Yantra in a relaxed state and simply repeat the name of the Asura mechanically without counting. While repeating the name, you should focus on your intention to tap into Asura Tala, the realm of Asura Kalanemi, and communicate with Kalanemi himself. Focus on your intention, gaze in Yantra in a relaxed manner and repeat the name of Asura over and over again until he arrives, until you can feel his energy in the room with you. When that happens, give to Asura Kalanemi your requests and after you gave him your requests, you can meditate calmly and wait for the energy to dissipate. I advise to the people to 
anoint the yantra with your own blood because this will greatly empower the link to the realm and also increase attunement to Kalanami himself. I anointed yantras with blood on multiple occasions and it greatly increased my link to the spirit. So this was short instruction on how to summon Asura Kalanami. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow and please check the Ion Moral Foundation. If you want to know more about Kalanami, you can check out my previous video. But now, once we discussed how to summon Asura Kalanami, which was the practical part of the video, we will discuss his lore. Or, to be correct, we will discuss his limited lore, which is known in the West. Now, Asura Kalanami is a demon or dark spirit responsible for time, or for illusion of time, according to the Hindu lore. He is a sworn enemy of Lord Vishnu, and he was enemy of Lord Vishnu in all of his incarnations. He was always opposing force, which opposed the divine preserver and tried to create more darker and energetically intense universe, which were saturated with negative energies. Kalanemi is always the enemy of what we perceive as order. He represents chaotic force and also the destructive aspect of the time itself. He also is associated with time of the night and also the hours close to sunset. Kalanemi was one of the most powerful Asuras and he led together with his brother Adhaka the great army of demons which almost destroyed heaven. He is the member of the Asura class of beings. Asuras are technically the class of really powerful spiritual beings who were exiled from heaven after the lord of the devas, Indra, defeated them in battle alongside with other gods of the deva clan. After they lost, Asuras lost their seat in heaven and become exiled to the Talas or lower worlds of the underworld. That's why Asura Kalanemi actually is located in the lower worlds and not in the higher worlds. Asura Kalanemi is the being who incarnated on multiple occasions and in every of his incarnations he was known to be tyrannical ruler and he opposed Lord Vishnu. During every incarnation of the Lord Vishnu, Kalanemi was present and he was opposing Vishnu at every occasion. Now, Kalanemi can be summoned to teach the secrets of time as well as the use of time. He can be summoned to empower the Tantric Adept to bring wealth, health and spiritual knowledge. But his main duty is to teach uh, adept the mysteries and secrets of time as well as how to go beyond time. So that's short summary on how to summon Asura Kalanemi and this is short elaboration of his lore. Thanks for watching and see you next time.